Washington Redskins. A fight won by Brown. We'll be back with the fight shortly. Now let's get to Len Berman at our studios in New York. Atlantic City, New Jersey, Charlie Choo Choo Brown and Harry Arroyo just ahead. Brown at 23 and two on a roll. He's won his last 13, eight by KO. In December, he came up with a surprising first-round knockout of Ruben Munoz. Brown took this bout on short notice, and it was a short stint for Munoz. Brown's fast finish led to a matchup with Melvin Paul in January. Brown sending Paul to the canvas twice, and that he survived a last-minute knockdown to win by decision. Choo Choo Brown taking the IBF lightweight title. Shoot you early in your career, the rap was you couldn't take a punch. Yet lately, you've been able to take everybody's punch. Indeed, went 15 rounds and won the title. How does that happen? How do you go from being a weak chin fighter to being a strong chin fighter? Well, that's hard to say. Uh, how can you say that when the first part of my career, I was knocking everything out? I, went, I get hit once or twice, get shook up. I, I don't lose a fight, I knock, I knock a guy out, I'm a winner. But you, you, they say I have a weak chin, I don't see it. You can punch with either hand, and you know you can go 15 rounds. Now which way do you choose with Harry Arroyo? Do you go for the early knockout? We go, we go for the early knockout. Because if you ain't no sense of fighting all night, because you still get paid the same. Cut it short, that's good too. But if not, just slow it down a little bit and just pick box and stick and move. You know, take your time till you find your mark. And the chant of Harry, a contingent from Youngstown, Ohio, plus uh, Harry Arroyo with a host of relatives in the New York area, and they have been ground out upon occasion by uh, Charlie Choo Choo Brown, who has his support from North Philadelphia. We're set for the introductions. Let's go to the ring. Here is Ed Darian. Main events proudly presents the scheduled 15-round International Boxing Federation Lightweight Championship. In the ring at this time, the man in charge of this scheduled 15-round IBF title, referee Larry Hazard of New Jersey. And now, boxing fans, introducing the principals. First, in the red corner, wearing the rust trunks with the tan trim. He weighed in at 134 and three-quarter pounds. This gentleman is undefeated in 23 professional bouts with 617 knockouts. All the way from Youngstown, Ohio. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome the challenger, Harry Arroyo. Arroyo. And his opponent in the blue corner, wearing the blue trunks with the white trim. He weighed in at an even 134 pounds. This young man has a record of 23 wins, two losses, one draw, with 16 knockouts. From Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the International Boxing Federation lightweight champion, Charlie Choo Choo Brown. Brown. Charlie Choo Choo Brown who is the IBF lightweight champion. And let me point out the WBA lightweight champ is Ray Mancini and the WBC champion in the division is Edwin Rosario. Do you have any questions at this time? Very well. Instructions from Larry Hazard. Fighting at the bell. Good luck. Scoring will be handled by the three judges, Carol Castellano, Harold Letterman, Lawrence Wallace. Scoring on the 10-point Musk system. Three knockdown rulers waived. The bell saves, does not save the fighter except uh, in the final round. And there is no standing eight count. Harry Arroyo, one of 16 children, began working at age 12 to help support his family, a family that worked hard to make great strides. One of Harry's sisters is a tax attorney, one of his brothers an accountant, so if Harry makes the big money, he's ready. Right off the bat, Choo Choo is not wasting time. He's coming in with some heavy punching. Choo Choo likes to stalk his opponent, looks to go for the early knockout. Arroyo, a fine boxer, wants to keep him on the end of a long jab. No, no knockdown. 
step down. Yes, says the referee, Larry Hazard. Arroyo has been a slow starter and admits that he has uh, often blown the first few rounds. Although against Robin Blake, he did start quickly and then tired in the later round. Juju keeping a big distance between them and then rushing in with a punch. That could be dangerous. You can get caught. Arroyo's a fine counter puncher. Juju hitting nothing but gloves. Arroyo boxing beautifully just yet. On the counter the right hand by Arroyo as we hit the halfway mark. Opening round, Marv Albert and the fight doctor, Ferdy Pacheco from Atlantic City, New Jersey. And again, Arroyo getting the short light in. Arroyo fights with a little smile playing around his handsome features, and you're wondering if he's enjoying this as much. That was a perfect example of what this fight could be like, a long jab and a futile counterpunch by Charlie Choo Choo Brown. That size is quite a difference. Step back. Harry Arroyo has three inches at least on Charlie Brown. Remember, Charlie Brown has got a questionable chin. seconds of this opening round. We'll be back after these messages. On to round two, Harry Arroyo out of Youngstown, Ohio, out to meet Philadelphia's Charlie Choo Choo Brown. Harry Arroyo's boxing heroes, great admirer of Alexis Arguello and the late Salvador Sanchez. And again, you saw Arroyo able to counter with the short right to the chin of Brown. Brown very open as he comes in. He doesn't seem to know how to come in bobbing and weaving. He's coming in straight with a punch, and he can certainly get caught by a good counter punch like Harry Arroyo. Arroyo dictated the tempo of that first round, moving the champion around and doing almost what he wanted to counter punch him. Royal got the shoulder in on Brown. Choo Choo has the solid punch, as you say, Ferdy can be caught. He recovered from uh, knockdowns in the bout against Melvin Paul. He was actually put down in the second round by Luis Mejias, and then he came back to win by decision last May here in Atlantic City. Well, as he says, he gets up and wins the fight. Reminiscent of that great champion, Floyd Patterson, who was on the floor more than he was standing up, but he kept winning the fights. when it shaped up the way that Choo Choo was coming in totally unprotected. It looked like he would get caught coming in, and he did. He, he doesn't look like he's in particularly rocky shape, although he got up a little wobbly. Uh, he must pass away time. There's too much time left. If Arroyo attacks now, he can get him. And Brown's major fault in the past is that he has tried to fight back when he's been hurt rather than cover up at a cost when he was stopped by Curtis Harris earlier in his career. So let's see how Brown plays it. Well, Brown better play it cautious because he's just felt the sting of a tall man who can punch. And that spells a long night for Charlie Choo Choo Brown. Tie remaining, second round. Brown was 
put down midway through off the countering left by Arroyo. He hasn't learned his lesson. He's still coming in wide open. He just can't figure out how to bob and weave and come in. Giving him, giving him different angles. Another solid right hand by Harry Arroyo. So Choo Choo Brown will try to shake it off in his corner. We're going to stay right here. Big round for Harry Arroyo. For Harry Arroyo, as we take another look. And if there was ever a punch from the floor, that was it. It was a picture-perfect hook from the floor. Let's look at what happens. All the way from the floor and right on the button. Choo Choo Charlie says he gets up from a punch, and that he did. He got up and fought the rest of the round. You gotta wonder, however, how is he going to get around the height and the reach of Harry Arroyo? You gotta drop and go right to the body. Try to get close. Stay here. Don't pull back. Stay down, Charlie. Stay down. Stay down, Sam. Charlie Brown's corner. Stay right there. Get as much rest as possible. Now, this is round three. And they both come out winging. Uh, Charlie's a fighter. Charlie Choo Choo is a fighter. He doesn't know how to while away around. He just comes forward trying to get his licks in because he can bang with either hand. having a lot of trouble trying to punch upward. And when it gets in close, gets tied up by Arroyo. Arroyo's a cool customer. He did not rush in there to try to take out Charlie Brown. Could be a mistake for him because he had him hurt. in both fists. He's just got to get in close enough to deliver it. The distance is now closing. That's to Harry Arroyo's disadvantage because Choo Choo's closing the distance and getting in close where he can deliver that punishment that he needs to cancel out that big round that Harry Arroyo had. Harry Arroyo coming off the surprising victory over the heavy favorite Robin Blake this past February. Arroyo winning a unanimous 10-round decision. Heading off to a fast start of that fight. And he got off quickly here, putting down Brown in the second round. Brown continues to lunge as he looks to throw the right hand. And as he lunges, Arroyo either plants and fires or lunges backwards so that it uh, neutralizes the lunge of Choo Choo. Don't pull back. Don't 
17 by knockout. He's won his last four or five by KO and providing big problems for Charlie Choo Choo Brown. Once again, Brown got caught on the counter by Arroyo. Brown doesn't know how to fight anyway, but straight forward. He doesn't try to bob and weave. He doesn't try to come in from giving him, giving him angles. He comes in straight ahead. Arroyo taking advantage, pounding the body, and every once in a while going up to the head and stunning the champion, Choo Choo Charlie Brown. Arroyo does counterpunch with power. We did see that against Robin Blake, and we're seeing it again here. He fights a very intelligent fight. He's calculated. He knows what he's doing in that ring, and he is carrying out his game plan. Ferdy Pacheco from the Sands Hotel and Casino in Atlantic City, New Jersey. And this crowd, a sellout crowd, is just about as noisy as any I've seen here at the Sands. Brown caught Royal. Oh no, says the ref. Larry Hazard, keep him up. chess game going on just then. Arroyo's got the champion backed up to the corner. It was to see who goes first. Neither man moves. Charlie Brown with a record of 23 and 2. One draw. His last loss, September of 1980. Stopped by Curtis Harris in the fourth round. His other defeat, six-round decision earlier in his career. Under a minute left, round four. It is scheduled for 15. Whoa. Wild swing by Charlie Brown. And he got by it without the usual Arroyo counter. Usually Arroyo fires just as Choo Choo starts his charge. Watch the beauty of the timing of the counter punches of Arroyo. to set up Brown. That's it for round four. Harry Arroyo out of Youngstown, Ohio, coming out to meet up with Philadelphia's Charlie Choo Choo Brown. Scoring is on the 10-point bust system. What does the fight doctor uh, scorecard show? Quite unofficially, 40 to 34, Arroyo in front. And if you're scoring rounds, he's taken every round. And things are not getting better for the champion Choo Choo because he cannot think of another way to fight except to come in and accept the punishment that Arroyo's got for him. He's willing to pay the price to come in hoping to land one of those haymakers of his. So far he has not been successful. And Brown was put to the canvas midway through the second round. Was also stunned in the third. Neely went down. It was a countering left hand by Arroyo that decked Brown of a good left hand by Arroyo. Well, if he gets out of this. Oh, beautiful counter shot by the champion. A beautiful uppercut. Almost took Arroyo's head off. Again with Brown holding on to the rope for leverage and then unleashing. Arroyo got careless looking for that quick knockout and he almost got it himself. He's got to return to what's been paying off for him. Cautious boxing. There's the right hand followed by the double left.
Brown. Good right hand by Arroyo. Now this guy's got a weak chin. I don't know what's keeping him up because he has gotten hammered by Arroyo. He is directing the scenario. And comes up with another good right hand as this fifth round concludes. Six and Harry Arroyo has had his way against Charlie Choo Choo Brown. Once again, and back in the fifth round, he stunned Brown on a couple of occasions. He put Brown down midway through the second. Five years old from North Philadelphia, a record of 23 and 2, one draw, 16 by knockout. He's won his last 13, eight by knockout. Comes off a split decision victory over Melvin Paul that won him the IBF lightweight title. And a royal out of Youngstown is 23 and 0. gone by round six. Referee Larry Hazard having a very easy time. This has been a very clean fight. Fought at long range. Hardly any clinches. Arroyo again sticking to his game plan. Not willing to change and why should he? It's been working perfectly. Good body blow by
it's a long way to 15. Right now, it's all Arroyo, 60 to 52 unofficial, which is a sweep up to this moment. The longest distance Arroyo has gone, 10 rounds on five occasions. There seems to be a small cut, a small nick on the eye of Charlie Brown. Left eye showing a little blood. It's amazing how few low blows there have been considering the disparity of size of the two fighters. Charlie coming in would land low blows, but he hasn't. That's because he hasn't gone to the body and has been head hunting. Charlie Choo Choo Brown, two-time Golden Gloves champion in New Jersey. The nickname Choo Choo came about because he resembled a fighter in his local gym by the name of Choo Choo Benson. energy fighting. He seems to conserve it just much as much as he has to. Beautiful defensive move just then by Harry Arroyo. Nice uppercut by Arroyo. So the last couple of rounds, the action has slowed considerably. And we'll be right back. Small cut, as you can see. Uh, not big, not significant right now. Oozing blood, however. Remember, he was cut badly in the Melvin Paul fight and uh, required many sutures to close a large laceration. It has not been a feature of this fight. This does not look to be a factor to fight right this minute. What does look to be a factor is the height, the reach, and the superior boxing ability of Harry Arroyo. In that fight against Paul, Brown knocked down Paul twice earlier on the bout that he survived a last-minute knockdown to win and suffered facial cuts in the process. Now it's the first time that Brown has come in with a repeated jab, which is what he should have been using all along, some kind of jab. There it goes again. One right hand by Brown. Up to now, he's been trying to land a haymaker coming in. He should have been jabbing coming in. Let's not forget... That Juju has a superior punching power. If he can just get in close to land those haymakers, we'll see what Arroyo's made of. Oh, good right hand by Brown. That's his best punch of the fight. He's finally found out that the jab is the key. He's doing something different. If he gets away from that jab, he's crazy. to be wary of that left hand, the countering move by Arroyo that put him down earlier. Every time Choo Choo gets stung, he takes a walk. He walks around, lets himself get cool out. Very smart fighter, Choo Choo. Good hook by Choo Choo. Frustration must be building up. In Arroyo, he's hit him with everything. He's half him on the verge of a knockout in several rounds. He's way ahead of the fight. But yet, Choo Choo's fighting his best round so far. And a long way to go, and that this is scheduled for 15 or under a minute left in round eight. 